Oh my God. You got the truck. Oh yay. If I had pom poms, I'd shake the up. I'll shake my balls, my woolen balls. Welcome to this week's edition of Nitta Be Damned. I'm Gregory Patrick. And I'm Philip Champlain. And if you're wondering why we look like shit in this episode, it's because well, we've had one very interesting week. week. Yes, it's been a long week. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have a cigarette that's the prelude to our show. And apparently we've decided to use the lighting of a cloudy day. So this isn't like some sort of fanfare outside with, with paparazzi. This is the sun. Paparazzi? Yeah, because it looks like I got a lot of no, it's spotlights. Pa it's paparazzi. Oh, paparazzi. Paparazzi might be an opera singer. Paparazzi is an opera singer, yes. <laughs> there, that's been. Okay, so here's what happened. Woo. Last week, if you saw last week's show, yep. we just kind of said in jest, oh, wouldn't it be funny if we could, were able to start a yarn truck? And have our own business. I'll be shit. It's been exactly one, one week, week, and I have made that dream a possibility. Absolutely. It's an actuality. I'm a truck driving owner. Yes. I mean, we, I'm an owner of a truck. We it, we saw the pickup truck outside. Yep. At first, we were stupid. You know, We started looking for the big retail truck. We, we did. We, we were, were going to get like a big bread truck, that. an old yeah. bread truck. Never be able to yeah. afford that, but we just kept looking at the pickup truck our neighbor is selling, and yep. we got we bought the truck. Yes. Um, we have the the logo. Mm -hmm. We've got uh, shit. It's, we, nonstop. I was working to make this happen. But there is one thing we need: yarn. Yeah. We can't find y'all to send so us somebody send, send us sell some us. samples or sell us your yeah. yarn that we will you have, make. Yeah, we'll do, we'll do a wholesale negotiation with Absolutely. you. Absolutely. We can't seem to find anybody. Yes. Who's, and we want repurchase. You know, we want to be able to buy your product and then later after we sell your product, buy more. So we want like to be have, be a steady a steady buyer. But we want yeah. to do it on the low right now. Yeah. Um, most I of these, what, these companies like, want five thousand dollars to buy a, buy their product. And that's the other thing is, is like they'll they'll be selling you yarn that yep. you can buy anywhere. Anywhere. We wanted to sell your handmade hand spun stuff. Absolutely. And we can't seem to find anybody. Nope. We found Pamela Kirschman. Yes, she has offered a great deal for and us. And Vicky Blizzard and I yep. are talking, but Cam Pamela was already let's go, let's do this. We, yeah, why not? We had that deal worked out in an hour. Yes. Um, but basically what I'm saying is we'd like to start with a hundred skeins. Yes. We wanted them to be a, from different people, but if Pamela's going to get all of our money, she's going to get all of our money. She's going to get all of our money. Yep. We did. We wanted it literally like the fruit stand. We wanted every basket to have a, each basket was a different variety of yarn, whether it be your variety or the same size, like all worsted weight from yeah. three different people in one basket. Yeah. So you got that variety of color of hand dyed, of hand, <laughs> however you made your yarn. Because you can buy all of the regular stuff and we have seen, at Joann's and Michael's and all these other places. We have seen there is more than enough sock yarn in the world. Absolutely. So I think we're good on sock yarn. We're good. We really want worsted weight. Solid colors. Solid colors. colored worsted weight. Yeah, it's hard to find anybody. They all want <laughs> rainbows. Everybody wants rainbows or, or variegated. They want stripes uh, for their yarn. You may be asking how we made this happen so quickly. We started a GoFundMe page. We did. The link is down below. It was my first we, one. We have hit already half of what we need. We did. And you know, some somebody was thinking like, oh, you're gonna have to get like five thousand dollars get this. We were like, no. I would hope twenty five hundred dollars was all we were needing. That's a bare minimum. Yeah. But we've been we think we can pull it off. So at we've least already first start. the biggest purchase was gonna be the truck. Yes. That's out of the way. And next thank, big purchase is the yarn. Yes. And uh, my my parents did something amazing for us and helped us with that hump. Hugely. Yes. Um, if you go to our GoFundMe page, you'll see what his parents did. We yes. won't tell them. It'll be a teaser, so they have to go to the link yes. and see what your parents it did. It was very unexpected, and I, I love that they're, they they <coughs> they believe in us. They believe in us together. Uh, I don't know if my parents would have ever done that for me personally, <laughs> but uh, they believe in everything that I've become lately with being with Gregory. I, I'm a go-getter. Um, he's a go-getter. I get shit done. He doesn't play around. Yeah. I, I, I'm production, you know? I, I handle the lights, and I, 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 uh, I make my dude, and I, I love him and grow flowers for him. My philosophy yeah. is, why would you sit back and go, one day I'd like to do... No. Let's yeah. do it today. Yes. Let's go ahead and do go it. Go ahead and do it. I was like, all right, I drive. That's it. Yep. 
I'm, I'm pretty personable. I don't think I'll scare too many kids away. Hey, let's throw in the little clip of me bouncing around on the truck in the t-shirt. Okay. Okay. Let's look at that. Yeah, take a look at there the picture. There you go. See this. Okay, it's recording, and it has a tendency to go out of focus. Don't worry about it. All right. Okay. Is it close enough to you? Are you, are you recording? <laughs> yes. Look at this. Did you see me? We're getting closer and closer to making this work. Look, we have the shirt. These are the shirts that Philip and I are going to be wearing when we sit in the back of this truck, knitting and crocheting. It's also the same one that's going to be our logo on the side. Right about here. Can you see it? Can you see it? Yes. <laughs> I'm so excited about this. <laughs> Yay! All right, so we've got some uh, sad news to report this week. Yep. If you've been watching our show for the last couple of episodes, you've heard about Trisha's aunt and uh, about them uh, making squares uh, to put together for one blanket so that Trisha could give it to her in the hospital and help her recover. Yes. Uh, Trisha's not going to be here with us this week because her aunt sadly passed away. Yes. Um, uh, we're all, you know, kind of sad about that because we all love Trisha very much. Yeah, I don't like to see people that I like yeah. upset. So, so um, Trisha's not going to be here with us, but we asked our uh, other foreign correspondent, Caroline French in Whiteley in the UK. If she'd fill in for if her. If she would fill in for her. So, Caroline, take it away. Please. Hello, crocheters. Um... Had a little message through from from the boys. I'm going to call you the boys because that's what you are. Um, asking to do a video because unfortunately Auntie Trisha um, has had a bereavement in her family. I believe it was her auntie um, who everybody was making the little squares for. I'd just like to send my very best wishes along to you Trisha. Um, take care of yourself and your family at this you know difficult time uh with regards the the squares for the blanket i think if i was you i'd probably still make that blanket still make it with all the love that's been poured into those squares and i would say hang it on your wall where you can see it and have it as a little memento of your auntie I think that would be lovely and I think anybody who donated squares you know would probably think that's a good idea I mean I, I don't know I'm not not speaking on behalf of everyone that's only my own personal opinion but just now I'm sending all my love to you and I, and I hope you know you cope at this difficult time so moving on the truck oh my god you got the truck. Oh, yay! If I had pom poms, I'd shake the. Look, I'll shake my balls. My woolen balls. Well done, guys. I am so, so pleased you have got that truck. I can't wait to see what you do with it. It's just going to be freaking awesome. Yeah, really brilliant. Oh, yeah. I'm just excited as it is, if you can't tell. Now, moving on to crochet matters as well. When I was sort of talking in my last little video I said about moving on to those really tiddly widdly hooks these 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 little suckers yeah well I haven't moved on to the very tiny hook yet but I have gone down to a 2.5 mil and I made one look at that I made one made my first little bracelet I am so pleased with this it is gorgeous I love it to bits so much so I'm gonna make some more and for that I bought beads look oh they're yummy they're delicious wonderful colors so I can see um, more of these beads in my future uh, those bracelets it, it was great fun it, and considering I'd never made one before it didn't actually take me that long the other crochet project I'm working on, which I shook from my pom-poms, I haven't got pom-poms, I've got balls, so, well not literally, I haven't really got balls, I've got woolly balls, not proper balls, but hey, probably too much information. I decided to have a go at a big blanket, major project, I want to put it on the uh, bed in the spare bedroom. So there's a site, um, Attic24 it's called, and there's this lady and she does, does these patterns and you can buy wool packs and everything for blankets and this one's called the hydrangea blanket that's a lot of wool 
look at those colours, aren't they just scrummy? They're really delightful. Oh, all sort of pastels and everything. So, well, anyway, I've got six rows done, so that's those like three different colours. Really enjoying that at the moment. The wool is a Stylecraft double knit. It's really soft, really beautiful wool. So that's what I'm doing with regards to that crochet. Apart from that, uh, I've been concentrating a lot on beady stuff really um, for other projects that I've had on the go. I'm, I'm up here in my craft room, that's some of my beady stuff behind me. But uh, th that's really just it for today. Um, really good news on the truck. Auntie Trisha, look after yourself. You know, we're all there with you in spirit. Uncle James, Neil, yeah, James, was it James? Whatever your name is. Neil, it's Neil, I know it's Neil interesting conversation so am i the pro or am i the rant i've got to decide but i kind of like the fact that i might be able to swing both ways as they say anyway miss chambers miss stephanie chambers speak to you soon on skype bye <laughs> thank you miss carolyn take my notes yes all right thank you for shaking your balls at us it's apparently going to be the title of the show shaking balls yes <laughs> this is the last one's a bunch of skanks yes <laughs> and we've had roll your blue balls or i'm going to take care I'm, of i have to take care, take of, my care of my blue balls, blue balls. yeah so uh, yeah i guess our titles at some point are going to sound like clickbait is that what that is? Yes. People what? are like, ooh, what does this mean? I think it might be porn. Wait, I, I think I'm over. Wait, hold on. I got to turn down the brightness. Got to turn down the sun. Okay. I could just have the That's long, fine. No, the we're not going through the trouble of all that <laughs> any more. Oh, that was fun. If, if it's a day that we that we have no choice, fine. Because once winter comes around, it'll be getting dark and it'll be dark all day anyway. Right. So. Um, tiddly hooks. You, you and Philip share that in common. He is terrified of smaller hooks. I'm terrified hooks. of the small hooks. He will double and triple strand his yeah. projects just so he doesn't have to use small hooks. Anything hooks. smaller than a four millimeter, and I just, I don't care. And what did I tell you before we started the show about that? That I need to work on it because then I would have more opportunity to make better quality items with a variety of shapes and contours. Does that sound right? Just learn more of the craft. You just learn more <laughs> of the craft. I think I'm, 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 I think I'm excelling. If anybody looks at my slideshows, I don't have any of those yet, but I will, of the progression of my work from the beginning up until now, I think I have come. Yes. Creatively, you have come far. Yes. Artistically, it's wonderful. Technically, there are still things that you should learn just so that you can enhance your art. I know. I need to know how to make it flat. I need to know how to do a square. Um, he can go in the round all day long. I can he go round go all back. day. I can't, can't go back and forth. I can't go back and forth. I just can't. That crochet bracelet came out beautifully. Yes, it really did. It really did. And I know you've got to be selling your stuff somewhere, so you need to start sharing where that is. Yes. And put it in the Facebook group because I want that for a Mother's Day. Well, My mother's a... birthday is in September. I think that would be beautiful. She'd like that. She would. She would. She would. Well, Mama, they can know what you're getting for your birthday. Caroline, yeah. I'll be in touch. <laughs> The fact that it was handmade and came from uh, the UK, yes. from uh, someone that my mother uh, is, uh, you know, obviously aware of. Yeah, yes. aware of. She would really like that. Okay. So, um, your craft room. Now, I think that's beautiful, but this is, I, it's bright. you're definitely a, a, a lady because we're boys. We don't have craft rooms that look like that. Our no. shit is everywhere. No, no, but mind you, I have bought <laughs> specific things for like my. Uh, sewing thread mm -hmm. and whatnot, or I even had all my buttons separated by color for a short while. You know what happened? All of my buttons ended up in a bin, so I could just sift through all of them at one time. And now that container, pretty container, um, of nine drawers, they all all made out of wood. There's nothing in it. No, I'm saying if like if a frat house had a craft room, it would look like like my room. <laughs> Yeah, I keep the boxes, my stashes that everyone donates to me. I just keep those boxes with their stashes in it. Scattered yarn yeah. and pizza boxes and beer cans mixed with uh, buttons for eyes and yes, yeah. sewing thread. I have different color sewing thread, and it's just everywhere. We really should do a video tour sometime. 
I want to clean first. No! <laughs> I want it to see like it normally does. Well, let me tell you, after I finish A Strange Friend, my room looks like a typhoon had gone through it because of all the, <laughs> the, the uh, shedding from the fur and everything else that I use while I'm cutting it goes everywhere. So it is madness. Wow. Madness. Madness in there. And then, he never wears shoes. No. So he just steps on it throughout it, the, his room. Track and then, it, he, yeah, he, he, he like sticks bread. to his feet and he walks out of the room and it's I'm, everywhere. I'm Hansel. I'm, I'm Hansel. I'm just fucking leaving breadcrumbs <laughs> trying to drive my way home. That's all it is. And then he doesn't believe me, but Bacon, my cat, also um, plays with my buttons. Yeah. And he, he brings them out to the living room. <laughs> he does. Um, so it's pretty funny that she mentioned Neil. Yes, Mr. James. Neil has been gone for the last couple episodes because he's been, been busy. Way busy. But we might as well ha- let him tell you what he's been up yes. to. So. Our other foreign correspondent, Neil yeah, James, Neil James in, sunny, <laughs> in sunny Salford in the UK, is back this week with his return video. So, yes. Neil. And he's making up for time. Take it away. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he did like three weeks <laughs> worth of new video. We'll let it go. We'll let it go this Because we love him. Yes, we do. Neil, take it away. Hello, crocheters. Guess who's back? It's me. Yes, um, I've been really, really busy doing a uh, portrait stroke caricature thing. Um, And I'm going to try and put a picture of what I did at the end of this. And um, you'll kind of get an idea of the amount of work that went into it. Uh, What it is, I I volunteer at a local school. And I teach the kids to knit. And uh, I haven't really talked much about that, you know, over the last sort of few months doing these vlogs. And I think I probably will tell you a little bit more, more about it from next year. Um, and uh, <clears throat> when um, uh, what, well, what's happened at the school is that um, like all of the senior management team have left, sort of in one fell swoop. So the the head and the deputy have retired. Um, the assistant head, because it's like that, there's more chiefs than Indians there, as like you know most places. Um, they've um, the two assistant heads. They've both left as well. One's gone off to be a head at a different school, and another's gone somewhere else. I don't know. So I was asked um, if I would do a portrait of all of the staff, and um, at first it was like, oh my god, you know, this is um, this is a big job. Uh, so I had about about four weeks to do it, but. As with everything, I left it, you know, as long as I possibly could. So I ended up doing it all in about two weeks, and I literally got it done right up to the last minute, you know. Um, so today I went down there um, with the printed, um, uh, the finished pieces, and framed them, and um, uh, and then they were presented in front of the whole school, and it went down really well, and uh, the kids loved it as well, which was quite um, quite good because I didn't think they would sort of appreciate any artwork. I don't know. But um, yeah, and uh, it's funny though because as they presented it, I noticed a few people sort of sat in the, um, uh, you know, in the hall. Uh, some of the teachers that had drawn, and a couple of them sort of had this look of, mm, don't like that. Mm, my nose isn't that big, but it's like, sorry, love, your nose is bigger. Yeah. So um, yeah. So at some point, when I get a chance, I'm probably going to do Philip and Gregory and. Um, but don't hold me to this because I've got another drawing I need to do uh, that, I've been, <laughs> that one of my friends has waited 18 months for. And um, But that's not my fault <laughs> before um, you know you start to wonder. He, um, he wants a picture doing of his, of his dad who died uh, about two years ago and his two daughters and himself on some kind of a totem pole thing. It, it's, I don't know what it's all about at the moment. But I'm still waiting for a picture of his dad and he's like, I'm sure he thinks I can just draw it. You know, from the memory of seeing his dad when I was 18. It's like, no, I need a picture. Come on, come on. Um, so knitting-wise, it's kind of all been put to one side. Although, um, to keep my sanity, I've been trying to carry on doing um, a blanket that I've been making, which is, uh, you know, mitered squares. So I'll uh, I'll quickly show you that. Uh, and uh, oh, that was one of the cats. And uh, can't go anywhere without tripping over a cat in this flat. So... Right, so let's see. Um, so what I'm doing with this is, I don't know how well you'll see it. Um, it's just using two strands of DK held together and trying as best I can to not duplicate any of them as I'm going. 
um, which uh, and it's really interesting because I've never I've never sort of done any project this size using two strands held together, and the difference that it makes to the colours is like you know it's quite a big difference. I was going to say amazing is not really amazing, but you know what I mean. Like for example, both of those two are um, use a like a luminous orange colour, but they look completely different. Um, and again, with that one, it changes it again. And um, some of the my favourite ones are the ones that are a little bit more subtle, like that one, which is grey and white, or um, this one, which is a, the one I'm calling sweet corn because it's um, it's like a tin of sweet corn when you open it. It's uh, yellow and sort of like a, a gold colour. Um, and then there's another one which is, uh, that one kind of reminds me of Halloween, as does, if I can find it, where's the other one? As does that one. And that one reminds me of uh, my mum's house because that's what she has in the colours. Everything's grey and white in my mum's. And um, that one reminds me of the sky, so it's um, it's quite I don't know it's it's a funny um, pat well it's not really a pattern it's um, I suppose you'd call it more of a recipe wouldn't you um, but it's very um, Moorish if that's the right word because you finish one square and then you think oh I've got time I'll just do another one and then before you know it it's three o'clock in the morning and you're like bog eyed and it's uh, you know you've started to make mistakes but what um, what the other thing I like about this I don't know whether you'll see is that um, the black is um, stocking stitch or stockinette stitch whereas the rest of it is garter stitch so the 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 um, the squares sort of stand proud a little bit so it reminds me of a proper quilt you know the way you would have sewn down to make to make it look a bit padded so I don't know how much more I'm going to do of it I don't know how big I want to make it because it's not going to go on a bed or anything it's just going to go on the back of the chair I think but I might make it I might just make it like a huge shawl shape and hang it over the back of the settee and then uh, if anyone's cold they can just wrap it around the shoulders can't they I suppose um, oh <laughs> it's look at all those bloody ends it's like holy shit what would Stephen West do Leave it or weave it. Mm, mm, I'm tempted to leave it. Yeah, so uh, that's it for knitting. So I'm sorry, I've not really got much else to show you on that front. Gregory and Phil's idea of uh, of doing the um, the yarn in a truck thing is just genius. I mean, I've been trying to set up a, a yarn shop for some time now, and um, I can't afford to have um, to hire a um, a proper shop. But there's a place uh, in Manchester where they do really, really reasonable um, weekly hires of a, of a sort of like an indoor market store. And um, you only have to uh, sign up weekly. So you, at any one point you, can, you will only lose uh, a week's worth of money if, if it all goes, um, you know, tits up. <clears throat> so, uh, but the problem is it's the first time in its history that every single... Uh, unit is being used so if I'd have tried to do this four years ago I would have probably had the pick of the best units available so it's a case of waiting at the moment because it's the only place where I can afford to do it and um, I've got uh, I've managed to stash away a little bit of money for stock which um, is like so tempting to break into and go on holiday or something but now I've got to I've got to be good and keep it in mind for the future um, I did try doing um, a yarn um, paradise, is it yarn paradise is it called? What are they called now? Oh, ice yarns, that's it. I did try doing, um, setting up an online yarn store thing, which is ice yarns, which is from Turkey. And, um, oh, they were a, a real pain. Um, I paid my $6, I think it was, which isn't much. It was, you know, I could afford to lose it, so I'm not going to cry over it. And um, they were just like the biggest pains in the ass ever. I paid my money and everything, and then they claimed that I hadn't. And then they set me up with a website, but then the website wouldn't work, and I wasn't able to get my discount, so I couldn't buy my own yarn cheaper. And in the end, I just thought, oh, bugger this. And uh, so I've just closed it down. So, um so uh, on every front really the yarn shop um, idea isn't going to work for me I don't think so I really wish um, Gregory and Phil all the luck in the world to uh, to do this I think it's a very cool idea and um, I put it on Facebook you know I can just imagine them doing the dueling banjos on the back of that 
truck. So I think maybe it'd be, you know, dueling crochet versus, versus um, knitting. So dueling crocheting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, be like deliverance. <laughs> So uh, for now, goodbye, and hopefully you'll see the picture at the end. Oh, and just, in, uh, you know, if anybody wants a, uh, one of these caricatures doing, um, I can do them. They, if you're, obviously, if you're in America or outside of the UK, um, I wouldn't be sending you a physical picture. I do it all online, and then I can email the finished picture to you um, for you to get printed in your own country. So, for example, the, the one that I'm going to show you, we were able to get print, a print of it which was a one size which is quite big uh, for 15 pound which would be what i don't know 20 something dollars um so and i'm sure you'll probably get it cheaper uh, in america and canada and australia you know um so if anybody is interested in having a having a caricature doing done or a picture i tend to charge um depending on what you want uh, about 15 pound per person so that will be what would it be in dollars? I don't know. Work it out. So uh, inbox me if you're interested. Okay. Bye for now, crocheters. It's good to be back. See you soon. Well, Neil, <laughs> you shared a lot. So we're going to start from the beginning. Neil has become a rock star. Nate Neil is the rock star. He was missed and he decided, okay, you miss me so much, I'm going to give you three weeks worth of videos. <laughs> and they were all wonderful. Uh, you're a talented, talented mother. Very talented. Very creative, yeah. man. Very creative, wow. man. Um, that blanket, you have more patience than I do, brother. That's, I don't make those things. No. No, I, uh -uh. I, I don't crochet. Well, you, you, it was knit, but I don't crochet blankets. I don't have the ability to make a loose loop you know but you you showed at the end exactly why i don't do those projects yeah. i'm not weaving in all that shit no nah. no i would actually put them all tie them knot them very well and then tie them up cut them all the same length yeah you know make them all like tooth like so that's just it's it's uh just what do you call that too bad frill yeah. um, no fringe fringe it's just the fringe on the other side of the blanket that's easy enough I gotta say, my body hurts. We went stupidly for a bike ride this morning up to the thrift store, uh, only to be yeah. turned away when there's a sign that says, we're closed until August 8th because it's too hot oh, in here. <laughs> um, I have a story that I must share with the, with everyone. If I don't like it, I can edit it. Oh, it's the beginning of the, of the trip. Gregory was not prepared with his bicycle. Hasn't been on his bicycle in a while. I walk he? everywhere. So I told him, I said, hey, honey, check your bicycle before we leave because we might need to fix your handlebars and pump up the tire. <laughs> We don't make it around the corner before he's like, hey, wait. And I'm like, what do you mean, wait? He says, he doesn't say anything, because all I have to do is look. He, his rear tire is flat. There ain't a fucking stitch of breath in it, and the handlebars are ready to fall out of its bracket. Okay? It could have taken us five seconds, but no, now we have to walk back, because um, Smart Boy here doesn't check his bicycle before we leave the house with it. I hadn't used it in so long, I figured it was the same like I left it. Yes. Because the magic man decided that time doesn't tear shit down. <laughs> anyway, so we basically made a trip and a half. Yes. And when nothing. we got there, there was a they're, sign saying they're closed until August because it's too hot. Because it's true, they don't have any uh, the air they have conditioning the, yeah, in there. In the thrift store, it's all solid brick, real brick. Yeah. Yeah. Well, concrete. 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 And of course, the the volunteers are all these little old ladies. Yeah, so yeah. Like, they aren't in there. No. They're like, it's too hot. We're not coming but here. But we actually went up there to see if they had anything we could use for our truck. Absolutely, like, like baskets. baskets and that kind of thing. Yeah, we wanted again. It's farm truck. It's, yeah. it's it's a vegetable truck concept. It's a vegetable truck. It, it's a tomato truck with uh, yarn instead yes. of tomato. Absolutely, that's the idea. Yep. So thank you. We're so happy that you really like our idea, Neil. I'm, I mean, you know, we're putting your name with everybody else yes. on the side of the mm -hmm. truck. I mean, I don't know if we've mentioned that, but to everyone that has donated to our GoFundMe yes. or donated to us personally. The truck will look like NASCAR. Yes, the side yes. is gonna have like our wall of fame. Mm -hmm. Yes. For everyone who's donated or helped us. And if you don't want your name, we can use your initials. So just you can let us know, maybe if that's a problem. We'll find out. We'll find out. All right. But we did find a new term this week that we have to talk about. What's that? Belly bands. Oh my God. I was talking with, wait, don't tell me. Oh, who was it? Ruth Hinman. Yes. 
talking with Ruth Hinman, and she said, I've got all this yarn that I'll just send your way, and you can sell it on the truck. It's this and that, and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And I'll even do belly bands, because belly bands are really important. And I, I said the dumbest thing. I'm like, I hate to sound like a man, but yeah. what's a belly, belly band? band. I'm I thought thinking it's some lady thing. That, thing, that belt that the range. girls wear? Yeah, <laughs> the little belly belt. And now she's like, no, you fool. It's the, <laughs> the label on the yarn. <laughs> I felt like a doofus. I, but we're learning every day. Every day. I never thought that he would actually have to learn that because I thought it was the cutest thing. I was like, oh, she makes little fashion accessories for kids. <laughs> a or belly something. band is a, a belly fashion band. accessory. It's a fashion accessory. <laughs> nah. No, it's a paper wrap. <laughs> it's a paper wrap. It's a paper wrap. Uh, With her name on it, apparently, because it's her yarn. I is believe that? so. Oh, okay. And, okay. you know, eventually that is going to be our quest is that we're going to be having our own yarn yes. as well as yep. everybody else's. Because we've been looking into that today, too. Yes, because the minute difficult. I Googled belly band, it all came up printing a belly band. <laughs> We'll print your belly bands. Yes. And I, all I could see was a black label with the Mad Men knitting logo, and I was like, we have to do that. Yes. We so have we have that. been looking into make, dyeing our own yarn at least. Um, we're not sure if we're spinning wheel ready. I don't know. I haven't really. Okay, here's the thing that bothers me mm. is that with all the time and effort it takes, yeah. and having to buy that wool yes. that's just basically white. Yes. Um, it ended up looking like it would just be cheaper to do a wholesale. Uh, we tried some, though; we couldn't but, find it. But that's our only obstacle. Is yeah, that we can't find y'all. Yeah. to send us a link, link to, your to your shop, shop to so buy can, wholesale, so we can look at your stuff. Yes. and say, hey, that looks good. Yeah, let's buy it Remember, and make out a wholesale. We want deal. you to be part of our yarn vegetable truck. Yeah. Or, or, or wait, Spread uh, your name in sunny Central Florida. Florida, everywhere. You know, we're going to advertise you. You're going to be part of the part of it. This is from so and so. Your name's going to be there. Your your little belly bands are going to show up in and our again, baskets. I can't stress enough. That's kind of sexy, isn't it? Worst belly bands in a basket. Belly bands in a basket. Uh -huh. Sounds like a bad band. Ba actually, it sounds, sounds like, like a really bad like band. Jen like in the nineteen seventies. <laughs> Jen in the belly holograms. in a basket. Ooh. Belly in the baskets. Um, anyway, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I want to stress. We're looking for solids, worsted. Yes. There's plenty of multicolored sock yarn out yeah, there. Yeah, we can find that anywhere. Multi, multicolored, we're pretty good on. Yeah. Okay. So, but I gotta tell you, um, working so hard, one day I hit the wall. Mm -hmm. I got up and I had probably been up since about four o'clock in the morning, had gone to bed about one. Yeah. Because that's the danger of the internet. You can get it all done now. There is no like, oh, I can't go do that because the office isn't open. No. no. You can get it all done anytime. We're worldwide. Yeah, so um, I was constantly nonstop, nonstop, and then I got up that morning and I was like, shit, I think I've hit it. I think I've spent yeah, myself it? out. I think that was two days ago. Okay, it, I think it was. Yes, and you anyway, know what happened? Anyway. Something happened. Let me finish my story. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh. I was just looking through Facebook, just mm -hmm. scrolling through, and Stephanie said, our stitching bitch on Skype is going to start in about half an hour. I was like, I know. That's, that's what I was talking. About. I know how I'm going to spend my downtime today. I'm not going to work on anything. I'm going to hang out with the ladies. I'm going to interject something here. Interject it. Now I, had now, I don't like it when you interject. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I left for the afternoon, which was supposed to be for the afternoon, to help a friend of ours work in her yard. And Gregory had mentioned to me that this Skype was happening, and he said, "Oh, it's supposed to start at 11 o'clock." And I said, "Oh, that's cool." You know, 10 people or so can show up at a time, and we'll see how it goes. I think I was gone for, what, an hour, two, maybe? Yeah. Because it was hot, and I sucked at yard work, okay? Um, you tell longer stories than Neil. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say that when I got here, there ladies talk about some shit, and he <laughs> stayed on there for seven hours. I became one of the girls. I was enjoying it. I was he like, got locked we into were talking about her husband. She got locked into bed. <laughs> were you talking about me? Yes, we did. We talked about our husbands. That's why they were so quiet when I came in. <laughs> yes, they were like the enemy. <laughs> oh, that's not fair. <laughs> no, they love you. Uh huh. They love you. It's just that for a brief moment there, you had become part of a. Uh, I was the 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 <laughs> stonewall. It, anyway. Oh my God. So you thought of me as a man. Miss Chambers, Miss Stephanie Chambers, is yeah. going to tell you more about it in her video for this week. So our foreign correspondent, Miss Chambers, Miss Stephanie, Stephanie Chambers, Chambers, in Montreal, Canada. Take it away. Hi, crocheters. It's Stephanie Chambers. Miss Stephanie Chambers, however we're saying it now, I'm not really sure. Coming to you from Montreal. Um, the first thing I want to do is send my condolences and well wishes to Trisha. I know she's having a hard time right now with her aunt passing away. Uh, 
just I want her to know that we love her and we're thinking about her. Uh, secondly, oh my god, they got the truck, guys! They got the truck! They got the truck! They got the truck! I'm so excited. Um, we hit a thousand members in the group. That is absolutely amazing. Uh, the stitching bitch. It was interesting. It was fun. Uh, we learned so much about one another and our hopes and our dreams and things that we've done. And Dana and Annie were just a complete blast. And of course, Gregory, he's Gregory. I mean, you just, what was intended to be no longer than two hours turned into seven. And it was absolutely amazing. Uh, as far as Trisha's challenge uh, for the end of the year, I drug out my three biggest ones that I'm going, not real sure about. This is the very first thing that I knit, and I still haven't finished them. It's my dragon. I have a bag of parts. Uh, this is the very first toy that I ever even started knitting. Uh, it's one of the Alan Dart patterns, but... Yeah, he's, he's not going to be sold because he's kind of special, but he was a lot of fun. I just lost interest, you know, that ADHD thing. And then we have, this is also mostly just parts. It's, I got into a mood and began to do a giant quaggin from Guild Wars 2 for my daughter, and that's his body, and the rest of him is there. His head, his or his tail, and his arms, and his feet, and everything. I just have to stuff him and put him together. Uh, can we tell I don't like to sew things together? There you go. And then you guys, most of you guys have seen parts of this. It's the last, I have to finish the last part of my little Care Bear. I have to put his feet on, and stitch his face, and... Figure out something to put on his belly. I was going to put a maple leaf, but I'm not real sure now. But he's just been sitting in a bag with the yarn to finish him. So, you know, I'll get them done by the end of the year, and I'll post them as I get them done. Uh, as far as what I'm doing personally, uh, beyond figuring out uh, what I need to stock up on, and everything. Uh, if you guys are still interested in learning to go from crocheting to knitting, uh, the only thing you're really going to need is one pair of knitting needles, a crochet hook at the same millimeter size so I can uh, do the video to show you how to cast on two knitting needles with a crochet hook, which is so much easier. And then we'll go straight into knitting. And I have an idea rolling around in my head for something. And we'll discuss that more later as soon as I've got it all put together and planned out. But uh, I also have another idea going on. But, you know, I'll, I'll private message people about that and see if we can't work that out. Um, and that's about all that's going on right now. Uh, this is Friday, and I'm thinking we're going to do another Stitch and Bitch and try to get more people in for Sunday. Promise, it won't be seven hours long. I'm, well, I, I don't know what's going to happen when we get people in and we start talking and enjoying one another's company and getting to know one another. And, but I do not necessarily have to be there. If you guys want to put together one and hang out for an afternoon by all means. No one is in charge of this. I started it as something for the group to get to know one another, and it kind of exploded all over us. But, okay guys, I'm going to let you go back to Gregory and Patrick, because I know they're having a difficult time containing their excitement. So, you guys have a great week. And I will see you next week. Bye-bye. Well, uh, girl. Apparently my name is Patrick now. Oh. He already, he already how long calls have we been me. How long have we been doing this? He already calls me a fame whore. Now you yeah, just made it worse. Worse. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I understand why, why Skype happened for seven hours. And oh. I understand. I understand. You hurt his little feelings.
That's his name. <laughs> Hi, I'm Gregory Patrick. Yeah, and I'm Philip Champlain. <laughs> We're just teasing you. Yeah. We know okay. you know who he is. Yes. Yeah. It just it was funny that it happens a lot. It does. Not just with you, but with other people. And other people We've gotten like, stashes sent to us that say, to Gregory and Patrick. Patrick. <laughs> yeah. So it's a reoccurring theme. And for some and reason, people want to call me Jeffrey. They do. They do. They do. Yeah. 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 They uh, just forget me altogether. I guess. Thanks. <laughs> I guess I, I, I understand that the reason everything got quiet when Skype was going down is because you bitches were talking about me, that bitch right there, while I wasn't here. I said nothing but good things about you. I would hope so, but I, they got awfully quiet. Yeah, uh, I saw that way. I did, there, and it wasn't, hey, it wasn't anything that I haven't told you already. Well, that's probably true. <laughs> we can only hope. That dragon kicks ass. It does, and the blue thing from the video game. The squiggly doo doo doo, wiggly bob, googly bob. Yeah, I want one. Yeah. So that's but, all I got to say. That was cuddly. I mean, I can put that between me and Gregory when I'm mad at him. <laughs> Your idea of doing that video for people learning to convert from uh, crochet to, to knitting. knitting. I, I think it's a brilliant idea. Yes, absolutely. I, I tell people all the time, I'm like, they're like, I know how to crochet, but I want to learn how to knit. And I'm like, you need to learn how to continental knit. That That's the... Your your fingers are almost going the same, same way. way. Yeah, and I've you noticed know? that watching you that your fingers kind of work like mine would. I'm just missing that other stick. Yeah, so you yeah. should do those videos. And if there's any way we can help, I mean, Trisha has sent us yeah. some instructionals, yes. and Neil has sent us some really cool instructionals on the the different ways around the world that people knit. He mm -hmm. knows all those techniques. Yes, we just have never been able to find a place to, to put, put them. them. But if you came up with another one, then we could really have a nice package that we could have our own instructional video for uh, crocheters. Yes. Because that's the ultimate in crocheting is if you know how to do both. And to share yeah. to everyone else. Yes. So, yeah. Uh, we'll talk more about that, Stephanie. You and I will. Yes. And, and we'll get this uh, package together. Because yes. I've got all that footage and I don't want to see it go to waste. Yeah, because it is. It's all very good stuff to, that everyone really needs to know. Even though I am, I am the genius that that the name is forgotten, you know. <clears throat> Sorry. I did tell everybody else how to work with poop or... Speaking of stashes, <laughs> we're moving on. Speaking of stashes, uh, we want to give a special shout out to Kate Scott. Yes. And Cindy Venisi and for Cindy sending us stashes, stashes this week. Yes. I know people are out there going, well, you get all these stashes, why don't you sell those? Because well, I don't think we're allowed to because we're not licensed retailers no, or those distributors. I don't, I don't want to be the yarn truck guy thrift store where we're yeah, selling all of you, our skeins for a dollar a piece. Right, and if you, you can know. if you can get uh, Lion Brand uh, two blocks over at Joe Ann's, yeah, what would be right. the point? That's why we're interested in this whole like hand-dyed, hand-spun stuff from that you guys all seem to... Mm -hmm. I know you women are out there, I am the yarn goddess. I want the yarn goddess to send us an email and say, hey, fellas, I got what you need. But for a fix. Cindy sent us, uh, I know she's been paying attention. Yes. Because I had such a great time with that fun fur. She sent a bunch, bunch. of fun fur. Yes. As everyone should know, now that I have actually taught Gregory how to, the love of the fun fur, he has started reconciling my stashes that you sent me. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I'll let him have his moment. Uh, this just for a moment. See this? No, they can't see it. It should be. Just this should it, be the tail of a strange friend. But instead, it. <laughs> it's the leg of a teddy bear. <laughs> because of his love for the fur, so we do really appreciate it. Um, I love working with the fur. Um, Kate Scott sent us some stuff because she wants us to, to do, do a project a, for a her. combined strange friend teddy bear to go in her her new her new pad. Well, I got an idea for you. If you can make yours look like a nun, I can make mine look like the window, so we can do like this church thing. Actually, I'm using the yarns called stained glass. No, that's not what we decided to do. That's that's what I decided. No, to do. we decided <laughs> to do the giddy up. You were gonna do the giddy up with a hump, so I could put my teddy bear up look in the middle, so it looks like it's riding the. Do you want a camel? The giddy up. I was. It was well, it's gonna be a furry llama. I can do. A, okay. You just I, I just stick to the plan. Now all of a sudden you're doing a window. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a window. Um, I was thinking a concept like, uh, what's the word we were looking for? Um, abstract, an abstract concept. We were gonna pot combine them together because realistically, our teddy bears and my giddy ups, and we all they all live in different universes. They don't really live together 
in the same storyline. So we have to combine the styles together to make them cohesive to fit together. What? <laughs> They don't live in the same universes. No, no. They're not on the same storyline. No. I don't know what... This no. is what happens when you let him sit in front of anime for days at a time. <laughs> you can't bring him back to reality easily. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Are you going to have places set? <laughs> Part of the show that people seem to love. Playtime with Philip. Uh, hey. Oh, he's not talking. I, can't, I haven't been able to make him talk yet. I need to put a motor or something in their heads. But, uh... Hi, everybody. I'm Vietti with the big ears. I'm no arm Luke. I got some big feet. I can stand up all by myself. <laughs> no arm <laughs> Luke. Start talking about that damn commercial with those little kids at the Shriners Hospital. What's the number street? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's terrible. We're not the most politically correct people at all. Oh. Terribly insensitive. I'm going to make a little cardboard wheelchair to put him in. Oh, he hasn't finished... Hi, we're just friends of Phil, and he hasn't finished my arms yet, so we decided to introduce ourselves incomplete. Well, I've already been sold. To hell with you. I just wanted to let you know that I'll be ready soon. Just so you know, my eye is on the clock, and you've got ten seconds. <laughs> I've only got ten seconds? But what? Why, Gregory? Why? You get thirty seconds to do this. Why, Gregory? Don't you love us? Three, no. two, one. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. We love you. <laughs> I love this sound. <laughs> Our GoFundMe is down in the description box below. If you'd like to help out. Like, what did you do? Sign language. That is... <laughs> I just told you, let me get out <laughs> the important shit. <laughs> All right, so anyway, the links are pull it together, pal. Come on, man. I'm sorry. Okay. okay, so the link to the GoFundMe is in the description box below. Yes, it is. If you are a yarn maker, you do you hand dye, yeah, yarn. Yes. and you want to get in touch with us, yeah. You can go to my blog, my email address is there, and just uh, send us an email and with a picture or a link to your Etsy shop, and uh, I'd love to take a look. Or even if it's not an Etsy shop, you have your own website, that's even cooler. That's even cooler. Um, but I guess that's about it for this week. Yeah. Um, we need some people to work with with our Fora yarn truck. Yeah. For the yarn. Yeah. Um, that's the biggest thing, is that we don't want to sell what's out there. That's the biggest hurdle so far, is that we got that truck in no, no time. time. Our, plan, our, our the neighbor was just like, I love the idea of your yarn truck. Pepe was like, yeah, yeah. I'm taking it off the market. When you guys come up with the funding, it's yours. Two days later? Two days later. Hey, Pepe. There you guess go. Guess what? And we set out, and we had a couple beers, so and we now, enjoyed the evening. It was so lovely. Now, now we need some people with some stock. Stock. Some stock to, to open up. You know, you don't have to be some big retail place. No, even if you're just starting out. Yeah, if you just if you're just brand new at it and you want to try selling your stuff out there. Yeah, and and what's great is, uh, like I said, I want to start with at least a hundred skeins. Okay. Mm. Now, if I can get like four or five of the same color, so at least I can sell someone a, a, a pattern Enough for to do a, a, a basic project. sweater. Yes. <laughs> yes. Even better. Yes. <laughs> That's what we're really looking for. Is we want enough product to at least have a project. Right, because above the, the baskets we're going to have, if you buy one skein of this, you can make this. this if you yes. buy two, two skeins, skeins, you can, can make, make that. Yes. And have the patterns available for yes. them. And we're also doing project bags, like for yep. Trisha's Amigurami dolls. Yes. Um, where we're going to put the bags together with your pattern. So if you have patterns out there, or if you have things like that that you, you're trying to sell and you want to sell, Give it to us wholesale, and we'll get your name out there. If anything, we, we, we would love to have an umbrella effect where we could cover each other. Cover each other. Yeah. 
in a blanket of love. Of love. Well. <laughs> I guess that's it for this week. It is. Yeah, because I think we're going on about an hour now. That's enough time. It's enough time, and we've had a good show. Well. So, oh, I forgot to mention. Um, we're hoping, really hoping, mm-hmm. to have the yarn truck parked in a week. Yeah. A week and a half. Yeah, we'd like to have so, even if we've just got enough to start with. Now, listen, here's what's going to happen, okay? If we get the space that we're looking for. Now, we're supposed to be roving, but I have an idea that there's a place that I really want to talk to. Mm-hmm. They're a, kind of a, an upscale um, brunch kind of place. Yeah. They have a huge parking lot. They're in our neighborhood. We're They're only a couple they, of blocks yes, away. We hope they'd share a couple spaces it's with us. two it. lesbians that are married, yeah. and we're hoping that they can... Hey, who is that? Oh, I don't know. Sorry, y'all. I got we'll distracted. Distract this. <laughs> <laughs> we got new neighbors. Yeah, and one of them has a nicely fine boyfriend. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, anyway, what was I saying? Oh, anyway, so oh, here... <laughs> sorry, but it's not just the end of the show. It is. So here's what's going to happen. Uh-huh. If I can make that deal work with them, mm-hmm. and we have everything we need to go, yes. this week, um, we are going to broadcast our first trip out live from the back of the truck. So there may not be a weekly episode next week. If there is, we'll just repost our live outing because I really want everyone that's supported us and, and in the see group it. and everything to, to be there yes. when it happens yeah. for the first time. Yeah. You've been so, with us with the whole struggle, really, yes. from, the, from the get-go, and you're helping us every step of the way. And you've so. seen our progresses, and you've yes. seen our failures, but we want you to be able to see rather than us tell you. And right. with technology now, we can just set up the laptop and go, boom! Yeah. And y'all will be able to see us live. And and I, I think the truck has a CB, so any of you CB enthusiasts, <laughs> I could reach a few miles out. Breaker, breaker, one nine. This is Chaos Basket. This That's is right. Chaos Basket. Uh, meet me on channel 25. I got a sale for you. 40% off. 40% off. 40% off. 40% off. 40% off. 40% off. 40% All 40% off. you truck drivers come out there. All right. So I guess, I guess we're done now. That was. <laughs> All right. Good night, everybody. Good night, baby. Bye. Bye. Bye.